Hi, this is Diana, and it's Friday Feathered Facts again. Today we're going to talk about the great horned owl. This guy has been here for about eight years. He came in with a damaged wing. It healed, but he has limited range of motion, so he can't fly well enough to be released. And given that he's been here quite a while, he's really used to people. And when we were doing presentations in schools before COVID, he, uh, he got to go most of the time because he's just so mellow. The great horned owls are amazing birds. And they, sh of course, share qualities with owls in general. But we're going to start at the top here. These things on top of his head are not his ears. Those are feathered tufts that are part of his camouflage. The ears are tiny slits on either side of the facial disc under the feathers. And <laughs> whereas our ears are level, owl's ears are not. One is higher than the other, and it helps them to better triangulate sound. This guy in the wild could hear a mouse's heartbeat under three feet of snow. That's how acute his hearing is. Then there's his eyes. And the head turning thing, okay? That has to do with his eyes. They really can't turn their heads all the way around. It's 270 degrees, which would be like if I'm looking at you and I turn my head around and look at him. Weird. <laughs> now they have adapted that because they can't move their eyes in their head like we do. That's because our eyeballs are round, theirs are conically shaped, very large and take up most of the space in their skull. So they can't move them like we do. So instead, they turn their head. They have phenomenal vision. We don't even know what all they can see. Uh, <laughs> ultraviolet light is, is, is something they can see that we can't. Um, now, another adaptation that owls have that no other birds have is that they have absolutely silent flight. You cannot hear them fly. Now, if you notice, when you're close enough to other birds, you can hear their wings, you can hear the air pass over them. Owl wings have tiny little serrations on the trailing edge of the feathers that cause the wind to pass silently. So they can be very stealthy. Then we get down here to the bottom part, the business end, these talons. Now you'll notice the heavy duty gloves I'm wearing. That's because those talons are very sharp and they are capable of up to 200 pounds pressure, which is enough to break bones. So if he decided he wanted to crush my hand, he could do that. But they only exert that kind of pressure when they're catching their prey or defending their territory. So he has no need. Now being nocturnal, they're favorite prey is also nocturnal. They hunt primarily at dusk and dawn, which is one reason great horned owls come in to the rehab center because they often have collisions with cars. When they're hunting, they are coasting right about grill height. So we find them alongside the road with injuries and that is not unusual. But their favorite prey is skunks. <laughs> Now, most people I say that to, they'll go, oh, oh, yeah, oh, my. Well, raptors don't have much of a sense of smell, except for the turkey vulture. The turkey vulture hunts by smell. But the rest of the raptors, eh, they can't smell much, so they don't care. Plus the fact, now imagine this. If it's dusk and this guy is sitting on a branch in a tree in the forest, he can hear that skunk coming a long ways away. And then he can watch it approach and then silently swoop down off the tree branch, grab that skunk with these talons, and the skunk doesn't even know what happened. So he wouldn't have time to spray anyway. Now, these guys will go after prey that's bigger than they are. Uh, porcupines, fawns, your domestic house cat, small dogs. So if you have small pets that are outside at dawn and dusk especially, watch out for them because these guys are everywhere. Last year, they had a nest in the tree on the courthouse lawn in downtown Helena. So just because you live in town doesn't mean there aren't great horned owls about. There certainly are. So this guy, in my mind, 
is the ultimate predator. They are amazing hunters and they will go after bigger things too. So, you know, why not? You might make it, might not, oh well. So there we are. This is the great horned owl. Beautiful bird. Thanks for checking in. Leave comments, suggestions in the comments box once again. See ya.